so let me get this straight. If we live to our 90s, that's lower health care costs than if we die younger. That's counterintuitive. We spend close to 60% of health care costs in the last two years of life. And so we've, the proportion of those that are spent in the 40s, 50s, and 60s at the end of life is dramatic when you look at Medicare spending. If instead you live to your 90s, we're not going to do those heroic measures that cost those hundreds and hundreds of thousands of so dollars. So you've had a good life. We don't have to go crazy to try to extend a 42-year-old life. But at 88, we're just much more sane yeah. about how we do that. You know, I heard you tell something else that I think is interesting. You said we can manipulate systems without understanding them. That's yeah. counterintuitive. You know, we normally think you have to understand something to manipulate it, but that's not the case with the body. Can you elaborate just for a second? You're going to see tomorrow on stage a kid who was 25 years old when he went to some of the greatest cancer hospitals in the country. They told him, you have germ cell tumor in the brain, the lung, and the liver. It's not even worth getting therapy. It's not going to do anything for you. This kid got platinum, the same thing in my uh, wedding band here, and a year and a half later won his first Tour de France. Why did he get platinum? Because some goofball doctor was saying, does electricity help or hurt cancer cells? And he put platinum electrodes in a gel. Well, it turned out that platinum did something to the cancer cells. It changed the system. We have no freaking idea how well, it I worked. But you'll see Lance Armstrong here tomorrow, and it's dramatic. Changing the system works. We have to do it in the right direction, obviously.